Howdy! J.R. Warnat here with another edition of Redbeard Food Reviews Home Base Edition. During the last week of August, I start to get antsy because I can't wait for the cooler weather. Yes, that is true. A person with a beard like this and the extra girth that I have, I get a little sweaty during the summer. So I can't wait for the fall and the spring when it's really nice, not too cold, not too hot. But when I'm thinking about fall, there's only one word on my mind. Soup. You would think with facial fuzz like this, I wouldn't eat a lot of soup or chowder, but I do enjoy it. Today on Redbeard Food Reviews, we're gonna be reviewing two soups. Actually, one is a soup and one is a chowder. Both of these soups came from a little restaurant in Cape May, New Jersey called The Lobster House. I love The Lobster House because they have lobster. And what else do they have there? They got seafood, they got an outdoor bar called The Schooner Bar, and they also sell seafood in their restaurant to take out. So that's what I got today. Let's take a look at the first soup up on the menu. Yep, there it is, it's a brown soup. That's all I'm gonna tell you about it for now. Let's just say it has a shell and it swims in the water. It's called snapper soup. Turtle soup, yes, you heard that correctly. The little things, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's soup made from the meat of a snapping turtle. It's a South Jersey thing, you're just gonna to have to go with me. Right off the bat, you can just see that the soup is thick. It's almost like a chowder, but it is still technically considered a soup. Carrots in it, lentil beans, uh, there's probably some barley in here. Plenty of shreds of actual turtle meat, which I don't know if you've ever had before, but it's very different. And it's also made with cooking sherry too. And you're supposed to have a little cooking sherry to put on top. It's not that fancy here. I don't have any cooking sherry, but it has it already in it. So we're good to go. It's also got celery in it. Uh, it looks like it has some sort of base. Uh, it definitely has tomato and I can smell that celery seed. Let's go in for the first sip. Oh yeah. You see that little thing hanging off the side? That's ah, turtle meat for you. Ooh. It's not real peppery, not real salty. Uh, turtle meat itself is a very distinct flavor. Uh, I've actually heard people say that some of it tastes like chicken, some of it tastes like beef. Weird because you would think that a turtle would, would you don't know what a turtle would taste like because we don't really eat reptiles on a daily basis. Well, I certainly don't, I don't know about you but it is a good soup and it has the little the strands of turtle meat in it. Mm. See them on the, on the spoon? That's, that's shredded turtle meat. Definitely taste the pepper. Uh, it is thick, so you can probably put oyster crackers in there, if you please. Uh, it's, it's very good. I thought it'd be a little bit more peppery. I've had snapper soup plenty of times before and it's usually a real thick pepper taste. This doesn't have that but all in all, it is a good soup. It's definitely a South Jersey thing, and it's down in the South and out West too. It's a delectable, you have to try at least once in your life. And not many places actually serve snapper soup anymore because it's just not a thing. I think actually Campbell's Soup used to make snapping turtle soup many, many years ago. Leave me a comment below if you ever had it and tell me what you think it tastes like. To me, it tastes like the earth. It's a different type of flavor, but it's not your, your chicken or your cow. Being in the water a lot, it, it's, it kind of picks up the flavor of what's around it. So, snapping turtles live in fresh water. Delicious. The second soup on our challenge today is not actually a soup, it's a chowder. Now, it's the Manhattan Clam Chowder. Now, I know what you're thinking right off the bat. JR, is that the red? Or the white. Think about it this way. Somebody told me a long time ago that Manhattan clam chowder is red and you would think of the Big Apple as being red. Now New England clam chowder, which is my favorite, is white because they get a lot of snow. I don't know if that helps you a little bit. It's just kind of a kitschy, stupid, cheesy thing I heard. But if you don't know Manhattan is red and New England is white, think about that euphemism. Let's take a look at the soup. Or I should say chowder. Piping hot and delicious. I see all sorts of vegetables in there. Tomatoes, carrots, oregano. Uh, the container itself says it's got clam juice and frozen clams. Uh, I was kind of hoping for fresh clams, but if they make so much of it, then they, of course they got to use frozen clams. It's got bacon in it too, so how bad could it be? 
Let's go in for the first sip and see how we do. And the first one actually has a nice big piece of clam on there, so that's good news. Beard buff down, full implementation. Huh? Hot. Definitely clam. I mean, you could you could tell clam is just real chewy, but they put clam juice in there too. That's what makes it a little bit thinner than like a regular chowder. Good flavor. Real salty. Of course, of course, that's probably from the clam. Uh, the onions and the potatoes add to it, although it is a little bit on the thin side. Not really like you think chowder is like thick, like like mud. This one's pretty thin, so it's a little bit watered down. Just make sure we got a make sure we got a clean palate. And of course, I already got it on the shirt, but it's out of frame, so you can't see. Don't worry about it. Good. Uh, actually, it's a little bit better than the snapper soup this time. Full disclosure: I've had the clam chowder and snapper soup from Cave May Lobster House a long time ago, but I don't think I ever had the Manhattan clam. This was given to me on a uh, on a whim. Delicioso. Going for one more bite, or sip, or slurp. It's soup. I don't know how to classify it. Good clam flavor. I mean, it is what it is. But I wish it was just a little bit thicker. We had to reset the image because our cat, Salem Annabelle, jumped up and tried to start eating my, the rest of my snapper soup. No, no, kitty. You have your little soups later. And we like to put croutons on for them, too, with little cat treats. Mmm, it's delectable for them. I've never had it. Another sip. Bacon adds that salt to it, too, but I'm sure the clams are the number one driving sodium factor in the soup. The smokiness from the bacon does well, but I, I really wish it was just a little bit thicker. I mean, it's Manhattan clam chowder, it is what it is, and after a while, the frozen clams add juice and they add water to it, but all in all, not too shabby. Well, it's about that time that we give the food review a rating. A lot to think about here. Uh, we did just try two soups. One's a chowder, one's a soup. The snapper soup, nice and thick, real muddy consistency, and flavor was good. I mean, you could you could taste pepper, a little bit of pepper. You could taste the cooking sherry, which was on the top. Separates after a while. Manhattan clam, I was a little disappointed in because it was just so thin. Snapper soup is something you don't see in a lot of menus, especially in New Jersey. South Jersey, yes, you see them, and uh, and and I think the Tuckahoe Inn used to serve it as well, but. Real good quality of New England clam chowder I just had last year. I was like on a, a clam chowder fiesta. I went up to like six different places to try them up in, in Cape Cod and Barnstable and, and P-Town, Provincetown for those who are not hip. Value for your money, uh, I believe each quart takeout is eight fifty, which isn't too bad for, for good homemade soup, uh, especially with the snapper soup because I don't know where they're getting a snapper turtle from. Hopefully they're not out in the back fishing and out of the gully. They have a meat purveyor like a lot of places. Overall vibe of the Cape May Lobster House is just an old schooner bar. So the vibe is pretty good. Overall, I'm going to have to give this soup and this chowder a three and a half red beards. <laughs> you didn't think I could go with the half red beard? Guess what? It's my channel. I can do what I want. So I'm going to give it three and a half red beards. The snapper soup should have had a little bit more flavor. Uh, a little more salt in the snapper soup would have been great. But the Manhattan clam was just really, really watery and, and runny. So for that, I had to give it three and a half red beards out of five. Well, that about does it for another edition of Red Beard Food Reviews. You can find me on the Face Space. You can find me on the Tweeters. You can find me on the YouTube, which you're currently watching this on. But where you will find me for the rest of this Sunday afternoon is sucking back some serious soup. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.